Um, so our role is to undertake the, the scope of work relating to uh, removal of uh, concrete caissons. Um, and in some cases there's just a black jacket that's been wrapped around the, the timber pile. So once the concrete caisson is removed, the divers water blast the pile using 3,500 psi high pressure water uh, above surface and below surface. Um, that's down, done down to seabed. Uh, we then use an airlifting system, which is an air compressor, uh, effectively like a vacuum, and that uh, excavates or, or removes uh, the seabed around the, the base of the pile. Uh, the remedial solution, uh, as per the spec, is a 300 mil, so, uh, so we've got a 400 and the FRP rods also go down to that depth. And we then put in annular spacers. The annular spacers are a plastic extrusion spacer, which obviously won't corrode, because it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a polymer, or a, or a composite rather. And then the FRP rods, the fire, fiber reinforcement polymer rods, they, there's, there's 10 of them, and they go around the pile to add uh, extra strength, both axial and lateral load. Uh, strength to the to the timber pile. Once FRP rods are on, if it's a structural pile, we put a, a fiber reinforced polymer jacket on. But the structural option is is a 720 degree wrap. So the jacket goes on. It's a, it's a rigid solution, but it goes around twice. Once that's done, the divers uh, pump in an epoxy, an LPL epoxy, uh, to the base of the pile, and that bonds from the timber to the to the FRP jacket, and that's that's critical to to achieve that bond. Uh, it's also a plug for us, and the plug, um, once, once the plug goes off overnight, the divers return and, uh, and pump the rest of the pile full of a cementitious scrap.